again. Uh, today, sorry, I'm just a bit out of shot there. Uh, today, I'm going to do a really simple knot video for you. Uh, just the three basic knots that um, you need, or, or is the easy, the easiest ones to use um, when you're setting up a tarp. Um, that could be either for a, a, over the top of a hammock or just for any of the tarp shelters I showed you in the last video. Um, it's basically just going to be through running through the two knots, the one each end of the guy line, um, and the adjustable, um, sorry, the each end of the ridge line, and the adjustable guy line knots, which is called a Corley hitch as well, but I'll, I'll get to that. I'll also show you the um, the prussic loops as well, because uh, they ha they are very useful things to have, um, very simple, and they don't take any knot tying um, abilities. So uh, I'll get started with the uh, with the first one. And hopefully you'll be able to see this tree and this cord. Um, it's not the the brightest coloured cord in the world. Um, it's just a multi-cam paracord, basically. Uh, right, the first knot you want to tie up to get the end of your ridge line. First of all, make sure there's no overhanging trees or dead branches or anything that can be a danger to you. And uh, the first tree. Uh, the first knot, rather, um, that you want to tie your cord to is uh, going to be called the, well, there's several names for it, but I've always been taught it's the Evenk Hitch. It's, you've probably seen all these knots before um, on videos, and I, I've done them all before on my one of my old videos, but uh, I thought I'd run through them again anyway. Uh, the first one, uh, just take the, the loose end, this part here, you want it at least a couple of feet, really, of the loose end coming off of the tree and the main ridge line on that side. So it's probably easiest if you're right-handed to do, have the ridge line part that you're gonna use as a ridge line on the left-hand side of the tree and the, for the working end on the right-hand side. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way is to do it the old Ray Mears way, which is you get it, make a loop round your hand with the, the working end, bring it back under the ridge line itself and then grab a loop from the working end and pull that up and then you can tighten all that down like so and that'll give you a nice solid knot um, to form a base for it at the uh, at one end of your your uh, ridge line I'll just show you that again so that's round the tree and obviously it'd be the opposite way round if you're left-handed um, unless you can use both hands. The working end, this end, round the hand and then bring the hand underneath over the top. Use your fingers to pinch a, a loop from the working end or the free end, whichever you want to call it, and pull that up and you can tighten the ridge line down onto that. It will try and spin round as you're doing it it will try and the knot will spin round. Uh, the other way of doing that, so these are all quick release knots, the other way of doing that is to put loop the, uh, the ridge line over, uh, the free end over the ridge line rather, so that you've got it wrapped around like that, and then get the loop, poke it over the top and then pull it through like so. And that do exactly the same knot as before. And with all of my knots, just to tidy this up and get this on the right side, I like to make them a bit more secure by uh, getting a loop of the working end, feeding it through the other loop, and then pulling it tight. So that just makes it a little bit more of a secure knot. But it's still a quick release knot. The other way you can secure a knot is once you've once you've got the knot tied is you can get a stick or a small piece of twig or whatever to put inside that loop and then pull the release so it pinches the stick down and that way you, if something tugs on this quick release quick release knot it's not going to drop the lines or undo the knots right that's that one I'll uh, tie this up on the other end of the tree and then come back to uh, show you the the second end of the ridgeline. 
this is the, uh, the second end and this is normally what they call a taut line hitch and you've just thread or push the uh, put the rope or cordage around the tree again same as before pull it tight using the tree as a, a bit of a pulley system get the thread over the top of the ridge line and back under again or under and over it doesn't matter which way as long as it's around the ridge line and then go back around the tree and you can tighten it a little bit more with that and it tends to to hold the ridge line reasonably tight with very little pressure on on this working end so you've got enough time to do the loop which again is the same same knot as before uh, which is a little bit trickier to do when you're trying to keep it tight like so and that's exactly the same as uh, the last the last knot rather but it's just had an extra loop into the into the knot itself so again that's the knot part of it is it flicked over the top and get a loop of the working end and pull that through and again you can secure the knot by pulling a loop through that loop or using the stick method so that's still a quick release knot again and uh, comes off nice and easy Now when, to when you come to uh, fitting your tarp to the line, uh, there's lots of different ways people do it. Some people have the ridge line threaded through the, the loops on the top of the, on the ridge line of the tarp itself uh, and then just tie it up. Um, but what I, I like to do is have uh, some of these little clips attached along the ridge line loops, just little miniature carabiners really. And uh, it just makes it easier to clip them on Clip your tarp on, onto the ridge line, nice and easy. Uh, it's generally a bad idea to put the ridge line over the, uh, the tarp over the top of the ridge line um, when you're doing most setups, because any rain that comes down will run along this, along the line, and underneath your tarp rather than just run onto the top of the tarp. Uh, you can often get around it by tying a little bit of cord onto it coming down, which acts as a drip line. Um, but to, most of the time it's, it's easier just to put the, the tarp underneath. Um, obviously if, you're, if you've only got a couple of inches at the end it doesn't really matter too much because there's not going to be a huge amount of rain falling onto that to run down. Um, the next part I was going to mention is the prussic loops which in this case are these orangey red things and uh, they are basically just a loop that's tied with a, a simple knot at the end. Any knot will do, it doesn't matter. And you put them around the ridge line and wrap it through itself three times, like so. Hopefully you can see that. Let's move that in a bit. Right, hopefully you can see that how it's wrapped around itself three times. I'll do it again. So you get that, thread it through, thread it through the loop again, and then thread it through once more. So there's three lines, and then you, when you pull it, that will close up. So it'll look like that. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And uh, basically that just gives you a point to clip the each end of your tarp to if you do one each end of your tarp obviously and uh, that will hold solid until you grab it and slide it up so you can zoom out of it again so you can pull on the, the tarp or tighten the tarp up so that it's not sagging in the middle and uh, that won't move until you slot grab the, the looped part of it and slide it physically down the, the line as long as that is um, equal or lesser diameter to the cord you're using it, it should work. Um, it doesn't work awfully well on Dyneema lines or, Amst or Amstel, whichever you want to call it, um, because that can be quite slippery on the outside for a while. But once it's used and worn, it, it tends to grip a bit better. So that's a simple prusset knot. I'll uh, 
affix the other end of the tarp. Right now, uh, before I get onto the uh, the guy line knot, the uh, the Corley hitch, there's uh, the clips I mentioned for the ridge line, the ones I use, these uh, these metal aluminium ones rather. Uh, they are generally the better ones to go for with the ridge line. Um, you might come across these little S beaners, which are like a double carabiner basically, uh, little plastic things, and they are they are very strong. But if you're using them on the ridge line, and the tarp slides up and down the ridge line a lot, it will eventually saw through the plastic and either cut through it or weaken it enough so that it just snaps. Uh, so keep these for if you've got these keep these for the uh, guy lines only and try to avoid using them on the ridge line right onto the uh, onto the guy lines now um, I always bring pegs out with me uh, because I don't like cutting down green trees uh, green plants like um, hazel and willow uh, they, they do grow back quite f quite fast but I still prefer not to, to cut any of those down and it can be quite difficult to find enough uh, sort of semi-green strong fallen timbers on the floor to make pegs from in, and in a lot of places so it's just a lot easier just to bring pegs I mean these only weigh I think it's 17 grams each so it's not a lot to bring six or seven of these out with you in your pack right so where are we there we go now I always leave my guy lines attached to my tarp but uh, you you can clip them on and off or tie them on and off whichever you prefer with yours uh, but I just find it easier to leave them on and uh, let's have a look see if I can get this in the camera let's try and put the peg down here somewhere all right obviously you want to make sure you've got enough room under the tarp for what you want to do and then find the, the best place to put a, a peg so what I've I do is put them, or what I'm doing is putting it there for now. You might not be able to see the peg properly, but as long as you can see the line. Again, it's uh, probably not the best colour cord. Let's try and see where we are. Probably not the best colour cord for you to be able to see properly, but um, basically you bring bring the line around your peg, pull it up, put it over the the top of your the top the tight part of your line. I'll do it up here, sorry, so you can see. So bring the the loose end over the top, and then thread it between the two three times similar to the, the prussic knot it's basically a half a prussic loop but uh, a slightly different version of it and uh, then what, after you've done three through it you bring the free line underneath both of the lines and then push the loop through it again like so and that works just like a prussic loop does you can it won't move on its own but you can slight grab the, the loop part of it and pull it so that it is tighter. And then, as I said, it's a quick release knot again. So I'll do that again just to show you. So that's loose, the loose end underneath the line. So you can see under then thread it through between the two and do that three times you can do it more than three times but three times is the, the sort of minimum I think for a, a nice solid fix so you should be able to see that's wrapped, for, wrapped through three times and then over the top and make a loop with the loose end and thread it underneath both of them and through the that loop that you made going over the top if that makes sense it's a lot easier to show than explain and again with that you can secure the same way as we did the other ones putting another another loop through the loop 
and uh, making it nice and secure. But as I say, it's still a quick release knot, so. Well, uh, hopefully that's been of some use to you. Um, and hopefully you managed to uh, see the knots I was tying, um, even though the cord colorage, coloring wasn't the best. Um, you should be able to find, if you, if you need diagrams or anything like that, you should be able to find all of these knots online. There's the Evenk hitch, uh, which is for one end of your tarp, the first end of your ridge line for your tarp. And then there's the taut line hitch, or tight, tightening line hitch, whichever you prefer to call it, at the other end of the ridge line. And then you've got the Corley hitch for the, uh, the guy lines and Prusik loops for each end. And you should be able to find those in detail or anywhere on the internet um, through any search engines or anything like that. Do an image search and you can then find the, the best image that, or the clearest image that shows you how to tie it. Okay, so hopefully that's been of use to you.